Uh, here with Royal Mayo, independent candidate for mayor of Steubenville. Thanks so much for joining me today. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, how do you feel? Just a couple days away now from Election Day. What's going through your mind? Oh, man, uh, the process is finally over. We'll see what the people decide here in a few days. In your estimation, what's the biggest issue facing Steubenville right now? Uh, we have a lot of problems with the opioid addiction, and I think the best way to handle that is through treatment. We're criminalizing something that's a sickness, and that we need to turn away from that because I think all the other things piggyback, all the other things piggyback off of that. Now you talk about treatment, and, and there aren't many treatment clinics nearby, and that's that's something that people have brought up many times. Uh, would you try to get one in Steubenville, and then how would you sell it to many folks who think it's a great idea until they're until one might be built in their neighborhood? Well, I think it's no different than any other medical treatment facility. Actually, I've been consulting with a company who's trying to actually locate one in the area. So I'm a little bit above, above the curve on that. Uh, and you said it does go with some other issues, namely crime. Uh, crime, obviously, a big issue here in Steubenville. If you ask somebody or you're talking to somebody outside the area who's never been here, you tell them you're from Steubenville or you live in Steubenville or work in Steubenville, pr they pretty much bring up crime first. So the city does have a, an unfortunate reputation regarding it. Uh, in your estimation, what's a good way and what specific steps would you take to fight crime in the area? Well, I think we kind of took a turn after the mills. When the mills went down, we still haven't recovered from that. But I think we need to focus on some other areas. For instance, uh, when you talk about the drug addiction, the crime that follows that is the prostitution. You get the petty theft, you get the burglaries, you get the breaking and entering, you get the assaults. All those things are byproducts of the people being addicted to the opioids. Uh, recreation. Let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, kids don't have a whole lot to do in many areas in the city. Uh, how would you improve the recreation opportunities in Steubenville? Again, a big issue with me. Uh, we need to put more emphasis on it. We need to open up the Martin Luther King Center. It's open now from 10 till 5. The Martin Luther King Center should open at 7 in the morning and close about 10 in the evening with different hours for the seniors early, the, uh, everybody else in the middle of the day, the kids once school gets out, and then the older kids from the time the uh, high school kids get out of school until it closes. But then, too, we need to improve the parks. Uh, we put $4 million into the parks, and I don't see any real big improvements. We have the tennis courts, but we need a state-of-the-art basketball court. We could attract people with that. We need to also... Uh, Get a pool. You look at the pool out in Tuscarawas County, they have a pool out there, it's a, a water park. They make a profit on their pool every year. We need something like that. We can improve Beatty Park, make it sort of like what they have at Ogilvy Park. There's space to put cabins in. You can attract Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. You can do nature trail hunting and those kind of things that we don't have. And, and we could really be a draw for the city. Not only that, we need to improve our mall area and bring in some more restaurants. I actually spoke with some people from the Darden Food Group today that owns Bahama Breeze and Olive Garden, a few restaurants like that. And they're going to be giving me a call back to talk about the potential of actually coming to Steubenville. I was just going to ask you about business. Uh, how do you get more businesses to locate here? Well, a few things. If, for instance, if we had the kind of stores that people wanted to shop at, if you, if you ask the kids like tonight at Central, I'm going to ask the kids, well, where do you shop? What do you like to do? What kind of movies do you want to see? You have to give the people what they want if you want them to patronize you. So if we bring in the type of stores that the young kids like, and if we put a movie theater that they like, and the movies that they like to go to, and then if you put the kind of restaurants that people actually want to eat at. A lot of people, they ride to Robinson when you're there, you end up shopping, you get something to eat, you go to a movie, you come home. But all of the money in all three phases that I just named went to Robinson. Nothing was spent here. How would you make it easier for businesses to locate in Steubenville, especially uh, young entrepreneurs? Well, you got to have an incubator. There's different areas, like there's incentives that, like say for instance downtown, you got you can give some incentives as far as fixing the infrastructure, fixing the facade outside, f helping with the roofs, fixing the windows up to make it more attractive to make people actually want to come downtown. Uh, moving on now to another type of business that could be coming to the area, and that's a medicinal marijuana dispensary. Would you be in favor of that? Yes, uh, it's medical. You know, it's no different. Uh, the opioids are legal now. A lot of the uh, medicines ma made from those, and uh, they're hurting people. In the areas where they have medical marijuana, the drug addiction from the opioids goes down. Now, you've been a part of this community for your entire life. Yes. Uh, how would you, do you think you could inject something new, and what would that be uh, in an area that's had the same mayor, the same administration for 25 years? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say anything bad about what's been going on. I just have different ideas, different approaches to how things should go. I think. Number one, the opioids should be treated as sickness and not crime. I think you can't arrest away the problem when we're putting 
more money into fighting crime. We're not putting it, we actually closed our health department and we're saying we have this health crisis. They're saying Ohio is number one for overdoses, Jefferson County is number three for overdoses in the state of Ohio, and we put nothing towards that. So we're trying to arrest away the problem and we've doing, been doing that for 20 years and it hasn't worked. Four very different candidates running for mayor right now. I think if you look at ideas, everybody very cordial at the debates, but obviously everybody wants to win. So what's your final pitch to voters who are on the fence right now who have not decided who they're voting for yet? Well, if you want change and you want to focus on the future, vote for Royal Mayo. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck on November 7th, and I will look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thanks for having me.